When I started 30 years ago in the financial marketplace, uh, in the banking side, uh, in the savings and loan side, and watched all the changes that, that have come, I think if we don't have a separate, distinct uh, system that supports cooperatives, we are going to be pushed into a mix of all financial institutions. And I think, unfortunately, we could potentially lose uh, the very basis of why we, we exist today if we're just pushed into other systems and banking systems that um, don't, you know, the for-profit system versus the not-for-profit system. And I'm, I'm really worried that if we're pushed to that level um, and we go over that precipice, we're going to end the, the cooperative movement in the U.S. as we see it today. We need to change at all levels of our movement, and that includes looking at the leadership that leads us from the regulator perspective. Uh, we need people in those roles who care about the cooperative system in the U.S., uh, care to see it to be strong, uh, reduce the compliance impacts, and work towards initiatives that actually uh, help credit, credit unions survive. Uh, in this system and to let them grow and, and become competitive, but also to find more ways that they can serve people and to open those avenues up to do that. And we need leaders who understand the cooperative movement, understand its principles, and are focused on that as well. And getting away from political agendas sometimes that um, become the focus as presidential appointees.